In this math tutorial, we are going to practice finding the surface area of a right triangular prism. It is given in the problem that the three lengths of each triangular face are 9, 12, and 15 centimeters. It is also given that the width of each rectangle is 4 centimeters. To solve this problem, we are going to begin by labeling the different side lengths of the prism's net. One thing that can get us pointed in the right direction is to recognize that each of our triangles are right triangles. And this is a helpful hint because the side length that is opposite from our right angle will always be the longest side length of any right triangle. This side is called the hypotenuse. And we know the three different side lengths are 9, 12, and 15, so our hypotenuse must be 15 centimeters in length, which means the other two sides will be 9 and 12. We should recognize that if we were to take our triangular prism net and fold it into its 3D form, the edge of our rectangle shown at the top, highlighted in red, would line up perfectly with the hypotenuse of our triangle. Therefore, they must be equal in length. So we can label that side 15 as well. When we begin to figure out the area of each shape, we should remember that the width of each rectangle is 4 centimeters, and I highlighted each of those edges in red just so we can remember which of the edges are 4 centimeters. We still have to label the other two sides of our triangle. I highlighted the shorter side in orange and the longer side in blue. The shorter side must be 9 centimeters, and the other side must be 12 centimeters and we can conclude that the edge length of our rectangle at the bottom must be 9 centimeters because if we fold this net into its 3D form, the edge of that rectangle will line up with the edge of the triangle that is also 9 centimeters in length. Now we have labeled all of our sides that are required to find the total surface area, and we are going to begin by finding the combined area of the two triangular surfaces. And what I'm going to do is take the two triangles and form a single rectangle and find the area of the rectangle that was formed by combining the two. The two triangles together would form a rectangle with the dimensions 9 by 12. And a rectangle with the dimensions of 9 by 12 will produce an area of 108 square centimeters. Now that we know the area of both triangular faces, let's start by finding the area of the rectangle located at the top. The length and the width of that rectangle are 4 and 15, and that would produce an area of 60 square centimeters. The length and the width of the middle rectangle are 4 and 12, and that would produce an area of 48 square centimeters. The length and the width of the bottom rectangle are 4 and 9, and that would produce an area of 36 square centimeters. Now we can add all of our results together to get the total surface area. So if we add 108, 60, 48, and 36 square centimeters, that would give us a total of 252 square centimeters. So it would take 252 square centimeters to completely cover all five surfaces of our triangular prism. Now let's try another strategy for figuring out the surface area of this triangular prism. With this strategy, we are going to view all three rectangles as one large rectangle. If we put these rectangles side by side, we can add up their different lengths to form one large length. So if we add 9, 12, and 15, that would give us a total of 36 centimeters. So what we can do is view these three rectangles as a single rectangle that is 4 centimeters by 36 centimeters. And by multiplying these two dimensions, we could come up with the total area of all three rectangles at the same time. 36 and 4 will produce 144 square centimeters. Now what we have to do is figure out the combined area of the two triangles. And with the first strategy we formed a rectangle, but this time we are going to form a parallelogram. Any two congruent triangles will always form a parallelogram. And to find the area of a parallelogram, what we have to do is multiply its base by its height. The base and the height of the parallelogram are 12 and 9 and 12 and 9 produces an area of 108 square centimeters. Now if we add the combined area of all of the rectangles, which is 144, and the combined area of both triangles, which is 108, we would come up with a total of 252 square centimeters, and that is what we came up with the first time. 